All right, let's talk football. The NFL is taking some heat after referees failed to eject New York Giants superstar Odell Beckham Jr. from yesterday's game against Carolina. He got into repeated altercations with the guy covering him. Beckham was caught slapping, hitting, pushing Panthers corner Josh Norman multiple times and at one point even slammed into him helmet to helmet. Uh, 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 uh. Beckham drew three personal fouls, but for some reason was allowed to finish out the Giants' loss, karma, 38-35. Critics complaining Beckham is receiving special treatment because of his superstar status. But in an NFL statement, we learned, quote, the disqualification of a player is a judgment made by the on-field officials. The actions of the players involved in unsportsmanlike conduct will be reviewed as per the standard protocol that is followed in all situations of this type throughout the season. Wah, 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 end yeah. quote. <laughs> and we've only had t we've only had two uh, ejections this year compared to 14 all of last season, and it's largely because the NFL thought they kind of nipped this problem in the bud in the beginning of the season. They had gotten so much bad press the last couple of years. Yeah, that they had these kind of sensitivity training videos that they assumed all these players were going to take to heart. Look, I I'm an Odell Beckham Jr. fan. I love the Giants. Uh, that was inexcusable. And let me tell you something else. Talk about karma being a you-know-what. That first half, Odell Beckham Jr. did a lot of hitting with Josh Norman. Mm -hmm. didn't, didn't do a whole lot of catching. Didn't catch one pass. In yeah. fact, he dropped the touchdown pass. So when you talk about a three-point loss to the best team in football, that catch in the beginning of the game sure would have been nice. So I think Odell Beckham is going to have some sort of fine for sure. I'm not sure how extreme the uh, penalty is going to be, right. but it was disappointing at the very least. One of the arguments from some of the teams about why he was not thrown out is because he needed to learn how to handle this on the field. <laughs> I mean, that, that was the most ridiculous <laughs> excuse. Well, he needs to learn how to control himself on the field, so we're just going to leave him there to continue yeah. this really bad behavior and give him special treatment. I mean, that's ridiculous. He yeah. should have the same treatment as anyone else would based on the rules of the game, not based on who you are as a player. Uh, all right, this is probably a mom talking to me, but this drifts away from football now. This gets into the zone of personal responsibility to right. me and special treatment and what we will as a society allow and what we won't. What are your thoughts? Well, yeah, see, this is why I hate football. I love when bad things happen in football, so then I can blame <laughs> it on that. I don't like football. Everyone loves football. Then all the sports bars can turn into bars where they play forensic files, and I can go watch my true crime. That's my dream, but wow. it'll never happen. That sounds exciting. He's, he's, <laughs> Sign me up for that. Yeah, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to crush in a nursing home someday. I'm just going to crush. I, I don't, I mean, of course, there's, there's never any accountability for any of these people. That's what it's like to be a superstar of any kind, but because people love the football and they love the holly, it doesn't really matter. This isn't going to matter at the end of the day. I love yeah, the football. It's about money. Yeah. But you like drinking in the middle of the day but, without Yes, judgment. I do. <laughs> I don't don't we all? So I went to the sports bar and I tried to watch the game and I wound up journaling in the corner and nobody likes what? that. Are you coloring or journaling? I, had I like journaling. Color. I had okay. some, some stuff. Yeah, look, day drinking, yes. Unsportsmanlike conduct, no. Yeah. I'm going to take something from you, Harris, and you're exactly right. When you think about this from a parenting perspective, and I've just spent an entire season of flag football with every kid wanting to be Odell Beckham Jr. They're trying the one handed catch, yeah. they're all getting the, the personalized jersey with his number you have a bigger responsibility when you're a superstar and if you can't right. conduct yourself with some sort of sportsmanship and professionalism and you get it once you get it twice this was all yep. game yeah. long but doesn't it point to a bigger problem with the NFL I mean you could apply what you said earlier about the NFL and their treatment of certain issues the way that they handle domestic violence it's like they cherry-pick when they're yeah. going to enforce the right. rules and take yes. things seriously so it's a credibility problem I think on the part of the NFL. Yes, but this, this incident was definitely coach-driven and I think umpire-driven too. Mm. Okay. Outnumbered. We're making more. Come back. <laughs>